So how does this work? These bays are for charging electric vehicles only. This is not a free charger. How do I pay for it? I have to register at Genie Point. Right. So yeah, a bit of a palava, just as I thought. I mean, I've found the charging point. It's called the Genie Point uh, thing, and you have to register first of all. So I registered, downloaded the app, put my credit card details in. You have to put a minimum of ten pound credit with them before you can do anything. And then I tried three or four times to get it to work, and I couldn't quite get it to work. I followed the instructions as I believed them to be on the uh, on the thing. And uh, according to that, uh, took out the correct plug, which is the two, the um, the big one. So it has the upper and the lower bit. So it has the big round bit and the the oval bit underneath. Took that plug out, plugged it in. As you can see, so it's fully plugged in into both sections there. And um, on my phone, it kept showing that the charge had been done or had been stopped, and I can't understand. And to be honest, like even now, I'm not sure if it is charging or not. This is more complicated than I thought. So, so now, so I've just looked online, and there's a little light here, which is now stop flashing. Is it? So the flashing light above the charger is supposed to flash to tell you that it is charging. And that was flashing, and now it's not flashing. But I really don't know if that's charging or not. I am very, very confused now. And I don't know if it's taken any money out of my account. Okay, I don't think that's charging. So that's my seventh or eighth attempt to try and charge this car. No luck so far. That's not good. Okay, so I think I've got this sussed out at last. I had to actually phone up Genie and uh, have a person on the helpline literally helped me out to try and figure out what I was doing. So this thing here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of all the sunlight, but it's got two plugs. So there's this one and there's that one. And then you can put your own plug in to that there. You can actually, so the cables that come in the car, you can actually plug that into there. Now the charger that I'm trying to use is, the, is called the combo charger. That's a single one. That's a single one and that's a combo one. Now when you go onto the app, you have to select one, two or three. And apparently I had to select three for that particular cable, that one, that one there, to work on the car. And I wasn't doing it. I was selecting the wrong one. So it was only when she, uh, she could basically communicate with the machine and she figured out I was using a different charger. So then I had to select the right one. So now I've plugged it in. Now the app is showing some numbers. So that's a good thing. That means something is happening. Whereas before it wasn't, the app wasn't showing anything. It went zero, 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 and then it would just reset. And that light now above there, I don't know if you can see it, is actually very hard to make out in the sunlight but it's not only flashing now but it's flashing blue yes it is it is flashing i just i was just looking again is it flashing blue it is flashing blue so um so so hopefully now it is actually charging how long will it take let's see it was about 50 percent charged uh when i plugged it in let's see how long it takes this is the charger unit this is a single one this is where you can plug your own charger in and on this side is the combo so this is the combo cable that is plugged into the car and as you can see it's glowing blue and the glowing blue bit is telling me that it is actually charging so that should also be indicated inside the car so as you can see it was on 50 percent uh 53 percent already uh but it's taking an hour to get it fully charged i thought this was a fast charger I thought this was supposed to give you 80% in about 30 minutes. Well, let's, let's see. This is good. Now you see, now it's showing that it is actually charging. So that's comforting to see when you can actually see it and you know that, okay, it is actually happening. But my gosh, this is supposed to be the fast charger? 55 minutes? I've only gained 6% in, what, well, four or five minutes? I don't know if you can make that out, but we are now at 82% charge. Remember, I pulled in here at 50% charge, and it says 24 minutes remaining. I have now been here half an hour. So, 83% charge, 
95 mile range. I've got to turn the heater off because if I turn the heater on, then that would take even longer because then it's drawing energy. As it is, the car is technically off, although the screens are on and I can, uh, whilst I've got sitting here with nothing else to do, I can go to the aquarium and I can feed the fish. I don't know if you can see that, but if, where I touch it, it drops a morsel of food and normally the fish go for it. There you go. I don't know if you saw that, but <laughs> so uh, we'll put it back onto EV mode so I can see what's going on. And um, yeah, that's a little bit of a downside so far. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. If anybody out there can help me with this, my understanding was that on a fast charger, the combo charger, which is what I believe I'm using, it should have been 80% charge in 30 minutes. So why is it taking pretty much an hour to go from 50% to my aim is to go to 100 percent i'm on 84 at the moment and the last three percent seems to be taking ages i think that's uh what they do say don't they uh it has been 55 minutes plus somebody tell me if i've done something wrong here because i don't understand the concept of fast charging if i'm using the combo charger at this machine and i went from 50 percent to 97 percent and it's been a nearly an hour I don't understand. I thought I thought it would take about half an hour. So, yeah. Anyway, nearly there. So I got to 97%, and then nothing happened for 10 minutes. I've been waiting. It says charging will end soon, but it's not going anywhere beyond 97%. So I can't see that it's even the mileage is not improving. So I guess that's pretty much done then. I guess maybe I don't know. Is it supposed to get to 100 or not? So now I guess I just take that out. The charging has already stopped. I can stop it from the app. Once I press stop, it said it said stop. So I'll see how much it's charged me. So there you go, my first attempt at charging. So yeah, I didn't get it beyond 97%. I don't know if that's as far as it's meant to go or what, I'm not sure. Um, I've just, <laughs> I'm freezing though, because obviously um, I turned the heating off, turned the fan off to save uh, power. And um, yeah, that's left me, so it's, yes, it's an hour. It's taken an hour, more than an hour actually. Because I was just sat around waiting for that 97% to improve and it just didn't improve. In the end I just gave up. So pretty much for nearly 10 minutes it was on 97% and it did not improve beyond that. So I really don't understand what is meant to happen. It still said charging and it still said it came up with charging will end soon. But it didn't end. It never ended. And um, so I'm, I'm a little bit perplexed. So now here we are. And as you can see if I go back into EV mode. Uh, and the range has immediately dropped to 81 miles now that I've turned on the uh, the heating, the fan, and etc. etc. In fact, if I turn it off, oops, turn the heated seal on there for by mistake. 111 mile range is what it's showing me. That's with um, with the fan off. With the fan on, it drops to 81 miles, which is, you know, slightly. Not great, really, if you think about the fact that, um, you know, I've just spent an hour waiting for it to charge. Then uh, that is not great. So, yeah, that's an experience. Uh, £6.30 is what it cost me, according to the email confirmation that I've had. So it's all on the app and it's all done via email. As soon as you've finished charging, the app stops and it sends you an email, the email tells you. So I put £10 credit in there, £6.30, I've already used up. Hmm. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it would be cheap, it definitely would be cheaper than filling up a car, that's for sure with petrol, but filling up a car with petrol would have been a lot quicker. And um, I'm sure I would get more of a range rather than 81 uh, miles that I've got. Oh well, now that I have got 97% charge, Time to put it into sports mode. <laughs> okay, keep 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 following for updates on how I get on with this. Hashtag BCG Honda E. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.